This video is going to be about detuners, and uh, we're going to dig in a little bit about that and how to play without detuners. You know, they're a little bit pricey, and uh, I don't really know if they're worth it or not. A lot of people say they do, and I haven't heard anyone say they're not worth it. So, if you want to check them out, uh, you can do so. There's Cheetah Keys, and there's... Uh, those Bill Keith D-tuners, whatever those are, and, you know, there's different types of D-tuners, but D-tuners are the things that go right here and right here. I don't have any, but they look just like your pegs, and they go right here, and they help you to do, like, songs like Flint Hill Special. And, um, most professionals use them. Uh, I'm not saying all of them do, but I'm pretty sure most all of them do. So, you can check them out. It's a, probably a good addition to have. You can add all sorts of things with detuners. But, honestly, I think you can do everything that detuners can do without detuners. It may be near impossible to do that, but it's possible. It's really hard to do. Really, really hard to do. You know, just getting it in tune. I seen a video on Facebook. It's a little uh, joking video. But uh, this guy. Well, he's playing Flint Hill Special and he goes. It just isn't getting tuned. And there's lots of songs that do use detuners. Uh, Flint Hill Special. Uh, what's that other one? I think it's Home Sweet Home. without detuners it's it's really difficult to you know get that just right and it yeah it's really hard um but you can try it try, I, I encourage you to try it and if you think it's too hard you can look at detuners and see that uh now I'm thinking of things right off the top of my head to talk about, so, uh, Jim Pankey actually did a live video of him talking about detuners, and you know, he's just talking about them, how good they are, and, uh, what they're used for, and I'm, yeah, you, you should go watch that after you watch this video. And kind of see what you might like better. Do it without D-tuners or with D-tuners. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I encourage you to watch that video. And there's a technique that people do for Flint Hill Special. It's like, uh, well, they'll slide down.
and uh, yeah, Jim actually uh, does this really cool version of oh, what's that song? <clears throat> You know what I'm talking about, the Ballad of Jed... something. <laughs> Clamp it. Clamp it. Something. Yeah, something like that. That Beverly Hillbillies theme song. And he does that with D tuners. It's, uh, I can't really do it. Tuners, that should be way easier to do that. But still possible without D tuners. Um, let's see. I might have to cut the video again and think of something else. Sorry about that. D tuners are not required to play banjo. If you like to uh, impress people or kind of, you know, give the banjo a little more flavor. <laughs> then d tuners are a good option. But, uh, yeah, it's not required for banjo whatsoever. Raymond Fairchild, I want to talk about this. Raymond Fairchild, I think he did something like this and he... But, I mean, you can't do Flint Hill Special with that. You know, because it only makes the sound go higher instead of lower. But you can do Home Sweet Home with that. Uh, I've never really practiced it that way, but I know he does that. Same time, that's pretty cool. That's something you can't do with D tuners. I mean, you could just pinch the strings if you had D tuners, I think. But, yeah. So, let's see. D tuners, they're cool. They help with some songs, but they're not required. Uh, and uh, I do think that I will have some in the future. And yeah. So. I hope you got something from this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing and smashing the like button. It'd, I'd really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.